This video is going to show you how to calculate the, the displacement from a velocity versus time graph. So here's my velocity versus time graph, and here's the question we're going to use to investigate. Calculate the displacement between 1 and 4 seconds. So what I know is from calculus and physics class that on a velocity versus time graph, the area is the displacement. And I put area in quotes because you're not finding area like an area of land or the area of a room on the floor. Area is a process, a process of defining the shape and then using the calculations of height and base to figure out what the area would be. So in this case, it's at 1 and 4 seconds. So there's 1 second, and there's 4 seconds, and that's going to give me a boundary for my areas. So that's where I've got my lines right here. So now I need to find the area between the boundaries, and the area is going to be defined as the shape between the curve and the axis, not the bottom of the graph, to the axis. So for the first section, I'm going to start between one and two and a half. And I'll go between the curve and the axis, and I'll stop at the axis. It's like a fence. You cannot cross it. You stop there. This is going to be a positive area because it's going to have a positive height of two meters per second. The next area I'm going to find is between two and a half and four seconds. And it's, again, go between the curve. And this time it's going to go up, not down, but up because it's between the curve and the axis. So curve to axis. And this one's going to have a negative area, a negative area because its height is going to be negative 3 meters per second. Now I'll do the calculations. I've got two triangles. So that's going to be 1 half base times height for each of these. So for the positive one, you can see my calculations. and I get 1 and a half meters. For the negative one, you can see my calculations. I get negative 2.25 meters. And again, I get negative because the height is negative. So it's a negative quote unquote area. But remember, area is a process, not an actual surface we're looking at. Then I'll add these two together, and I get 1.5 meters plus a negative 2.25 meters to give me negative 0.75 meters. So my displacement, my change in position, the displacement, is negative 0.75 meters.